In this work, we present an automatic annotation pipeline to recover 90 cuboids and 3D shapes from pre-trained off-the-shelf 2D detectors. Given 2D bounding box detections, we aim to answer two questions. First, can we estimate the geometry of the detected cars? And second, can we estimate their 9D pose consisting of rotation, translation and scale? If the shape and pose are known, the cars can be projected to their location with respect to the camera, which in return allows to recover 9D cuboids. Existing approaches for scale and annotation pipelines include the usage of better tooling, active learning, or a combination thereof. They often rely on heuristics and require human effort to correct the outcomes of semi-automatic labeling. In this work, we aim to investigate how well a fully automatic pipeline can perform in this context. Our pipeline consists of three major components, the differentiable database of shape priors to represent possible car variations, a custom differentiable renderer that allows to reason about the 3D appearance from a 2D image, and a pose and shape estimator for initialization of the optimization process. Our differentiable shape database is based on DPASDF. The idea is to transform input models into sign distance fields in which each value corresponds to a distance to the closest surface. DPASDF allows to embed a collection of water type models into a single neural network. In our case, this is a collection of car models representing the most common car classes you see on the road. Eventually, DeepSDF forms a shape space of implicit surfaces that can be queried using the provided Latin code. An essential component of our auto-labeling pipeline is the possibility to reason about the pose and shape from 2D images. For that, we need the differentiable renderer working on the SDF representation used by our database. Since current differentiable renderers are purely mesh-based, we developed a custom one, taking SDFs as an input. It consists of two components. The zero isosurface surface projection, which moves the input grid points onto the object surface, and the surface-based renderer, which outputs a watertight to the image of the object. The zero isosurface surface projection starts with an SDF grid. We utilize the fact that the normals can be computed analytically as a derivative of the SDF with respect to the input grid points as normals outline the direction to the closest surface and sign distance values provide the exact distance, we can project the query grid points onto the surface of the object. The second component is a surface based renderer. In the computer graphics domain, the concept of surface elements or surfles is a well-established alternative to connected triangular primitives. Our differentiable SDF representation yields oriented points and can be immediately used to render surface disks. The result accurately represents the geometry of the object and is differentiable with respect to the input. We introduced the coordinate shape space network to regress initial pose and shape estimates. Off-the-shelf 2D detections are fed into our CSS network to predict normalized surface coordinates or knocks and an SDF latent factor used to recover the object shape. We back project the coordinates to LiDAR in the camera first and then establish 3D 3D correspondences between the scene and model to estimate an initial pose transformation. Given the initial pose and shape estimates, we transform the predicted object and use it to iteratively refine the estimate through differentiable visual and geometric alignment. To improve the quality of the CSS net predictions, we employ a curriculum procedure. Namely, we add a verification to discard incorrect auto labels before saving them into our CSS label pool. Once all frames are processed, we retrain our CSS network and begin the next loop over the dataset. As a result, we eliminate the domain gap problem and the CSS net predictions become more accurate. Next, we show an example optimization procedure on a kitty frame. We investigate the applicability of our auto labels to the task of 3D object detection and evaluate them for lighter and monocular based detection. Remarkably, the detectors trained on our auto labels alone achieve results comparable to the current state of the art. Thank you for your attention.